What is a record where the B side is better than the A side? Everybody was Kung Fu fighting, was originally the B side to Carl Douglas's I Want to Give You My Everything song he released in 1974. Yellow Lead Better by Pearl Jam. The Smiths released a single in 1984. A side. William, it was really nothing. B sides. How soon is now? Please. Please. Please let me get what I want. Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac https colon slash slash youtube.be slash mtlxs6 mqua. God only knows was the B-side to the Beach Boys wouldn't it be nice single. I grew up after A-side and B-side. Which means I never really got to see sides. So it's kinda hard for me to decide. Time everlasting time to play B-sides time ain't on my side time I'll never know. They are both killers, but Rod Stewart's, Maggie May, slightly over, reason to believe. Ice Ice Baby was a B-side. No idea what was on the A-side. Abbey Road. William. It was really nothing, by the Smiths. The B-sides were, please please please. Let me get what I want. And, how soon is now? Two of the band's greatest songs. Queen. We Will Rock You was a B-side. Half the World Away. By Oasis was the B-side for, whatever. Arguably better. But that's just like my opinion man. Ice Ice Baby. Vanilla Ice. The concept of, B-side, is so far removed from most people's experience that several people are. Commenting with sides of albums a B-side is. Specifically. The flip side of a single's release. Not a track from an album or a side of an album. A side. B-side was a designation used on 45s. As a note to radio stations. We're promoting this one. While LPs. 33 one third RPM. Tended to number the sides. In the era of the Beatles. Singles and albums were in separate worlds. With singles tracks never appearing on albums. The 1973 compilations asterisk 1962 to 1966. The Red Album. And asterisk 1967 to 1970. The Blue Album. A mostly singles releases. Revolution. The B-side to. Hey Jude, neither of which appeared on the Beatles. The White Album. Edit. As you. One Tree Phil points out. Hey Jude. Revolution. Was a double A side. My other point. That they were both recorded during the White Album sessions. But not included on the album's stands. I think anyone would be hard pressed to try to rank the two songs. That side may be iconic. But the other side is iconic. Eventually. Albums. Named because they put on one disc what took several. Arranged in a book-like series of sleeves in the 78 era. Started to outsell singles and artists began putting all their work onto albums from which songs. Would be selected as singles releases. To give an example of this. Elton John's first hit, Your Song, appears on his self-titled second album. In that same year, 1970, the Beatles released an album version of, Let It Be, and also a singles version. When I began my music listening in the 70s, there were people who grumbled about having to buy an album for, that one good track, since stereo. Systems had moved away from 45s to 33s. I remember working plastic spindle adapters into 45s so I could play them on my father's stereo. Thin Lizzy. Jailbreak. Dark Side of the Moon for sure. Poison Arrow by ABC. The same song is on both sides but the B side is a slow version. Much better than A side hit. 
The model by Kraftwerk was an afterthought B-side, blows my mind still. The Smashing Pumpkins have a load of great B-sides. But as for ones actually better than their A-side, I would go with, the aeroplane flies high, turns left, looks right, from the, 33, single and, Starla, from, I am one. Eleanor Rigby was the B-side to Yellow Submarine. A lot of the singles released from U2's Joshua Tree have tremendous B-sides. Some were released on subsequent albums Sweetest Thing Comes to Mind First. The Foundation's A Build Me Up Buttercup B Baby. Now That I Found You. Beatles fan here. Much prefer John Lennon's Rain over Paul McCartney's Paperback Writer. Pink Floyd's Medal. Maybe not better. But wasn't. We Are the Champions. The B-Side too. We Will Rock You. Or was it the other way around? Keho, N-A-P-R High. Canyons of Your Mind. H-T-T-P-S. www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals add 9 lfyg 2 l 6 e The B-side of the Bonzo's Urban Spaceman. Funky Moped, by Jasper Carrot has to be the ultimate example. The A-side is a bit of mildly humorous brummy pop. The B-side is a spoof on the magic roundabout. It got into the charts and no one could work out why until they heard the B-side. I wonder if Florence is a virgin.